Hey there, everybody. It's Purblind Gamer. Still. And I'm in need of a haircut. Still. And I'm streaming horror games. Still. I hope everybody is having a good evening and enjoyed our short horror stream of Bram Stoker's Dracula for DOS uh, yesterday. Which, uh, maybe it was too hard on that game overall. It's like, it wouldn't necessarily be a terrible game if it weren't for, I mean, the controls are the big thing. But today, we're going to, as promised, we're going to start a new game. And hopefully, one that's very enjoyable. I actually started this um, right around the time I finished grad school and was enjoying it a lot, but never actually finished playing it, so figured I should uh, start from the beginning and play the whole thing, because it's got a good story, and uh, do it on stream, share it with other people. This is The Crooked Man, and it's the first in a tetralogy of RPG-style horror games that are... I don't believe the stories are related, but... By all accounts, they're all really good, and they've all been released on Steam, although the original freeware releases are still available. And I won't be streaming super late tonight, because I know that normal people aren't degenerates like I am. But I'll make a good start into this game and see how far we get. And then continue playing it in uh, subsequent streams. Hmm. smaller. Let me recenter that. <clears throat> yeah, it may take a little bit of experimenting to get the view right so that I can see the game well enough and See chat. Hey, Angela. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I think it looks pretty interesting. It's a, quite a memorable, minimalist visual for the title screen. <laughs> but thank you for coming by. How are you doing tonight? Go ahead and fire this up. The title is based on the mother, old mother goose rhyme, incidentally. is a horror game. It contains scares and grotesque content. So if you don't like scary stuff, don't play it. Oh, it's, oh that's, I'm glad to hear you're doing well. And uh, my th dinner last night was pretty good. My roommates and I had a belated St. Patrick's Day dinner and it was, it was really good. One of them made soda bread, one of them made shepherd's pie. And, you know, we don't often sit down and all have dinner together, so that was nice. <laughs> sort of thing. Wish we did that more, like, maybe make it every weekend thing. Mm -hmm. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, 
And they all lived together in a crooked little house. That was the Mother Goose tribe of which I spoke. Hmm. Whew, finally, things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help you with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thank you for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, it's late. We'd better be going. <laughs> it looks like your house in Stardew Valley. No kidding. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm assuming this will be slightly darker than Stardew Valley. Hmm. Got it. Be careful, you two. This is... Um... I'm just playing with sizes and stuff. Is that... Oh, right, if I change the size of the game, it'll change how it's centered in OBS, of course. TV <laughs> cupboards. I won't bother reading aloud the mundane descriptions of every little thing I look at. Huh? Strange, Paul forgot his license. I should uh get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. with that place. Seriously, it's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and... and that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know, and not many places come with furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't go complaining to me now. You're right, I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. The license can wait, I guess. Better go to bed. Okay, so these are the other rooms in my apartment. Hmm. Oops. Hello? Uh, who is this? Shirley? Just call it a day. I should take it easy for the first day at my new place. Oops. And so to bed. I. Ah. 
Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. Knocking gets no response. Yes? Who is it? At this hour? Pardon me, it's just... I came... I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What, what are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 204, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Er, uh, I guess so. So, sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better go back to sleep. So obviously we're playing the most compassionate person in the world. He hears somebody crying. He goes to knock on their door and he says, Hey, can you stop being sad? It's keeping me up all night. Love this. Is that, where's the sound coming from? Yikes, the water. Is the faucet busted? Huh. Hmm. Under the bed. Is, is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. This isn't going to be good. Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Huh? I found something. A scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and with and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this here? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. sound still? Where's it coming from? Give me a break. I need sleep. Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean... Just, I, I'm busy with work, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept in till noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. A large crack in the wall. Paul? Uh, what is it? Yeah, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Uh, whew, thanks. So, are you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh yeah, Paul, did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of punkster kid do you take me for, David? S sorry, I, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, anyway, I'm off. Oh. 
here. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my, if it isn't little Timmy. You've grown. Good, you look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, and I moved into this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too, so when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Uh, get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smelled so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Oh, uh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? Uh, Ma. Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room! Get rid of him! Now! Mrs. Hoover. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Away! Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. D Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? M Mom. Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom, it's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave for today. She's very confused right now. But, but she said my... I said leave. Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives. I guess our mother has Alzheimer's. That's really sad. Hello, David. Now, did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. Uh, I hope you can help her. So maybe it's not Alzheimer's. What's that? I heard some faint noise, but I don't know what it was. Did I move that chair? Oh. Huh? There's something in the drawer. 
Hey, DV, how are you doing tonight? Appreciate your coming by. Got a leaflet for a school. Just getting started with this new horror game. It looks pretty old. Hmm. Is L I L R L L M courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? No cam tonight? Wait, my cam's not showing up? That's thoroughly bizarre. Oh, it shows it frozen. Ah, thanks for letting me know. Let me try. so lucky. Yeah, it's, fr it's frozen. Um, shoot, I know I've had this problem before, but not in ages. Let me... There's some fix for it. Madness. Oh, that St. Patrick's Day dinner was really good, actually. I had good food and I had a good time with my roommates. Thanks for remembering. Let me see. Sorry about these camera troubles. How's your Sunday being, DB? pretty good so far that's good oh okay well the camera seems to be working fine now well, i'm glad it's been pretty good so far so we'll keep our fingers crossed that this is the last trouble last uh last point at which we have trouble with freezing welcome back thanks i was here the whole time you just couldn't see me like a ghost you know, ghosts, what exactly is going on in our apartment here? Is someone shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all. Huh. Oh, I guess he's saying if... You don't have to deal with the tenant forgetting a bunch of things. I 
might be a sofa. Hmm. Hello? Hi, hey David, how are you doing? <laughs> you just saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Uh, call if you ever get lonely, okay? I can come visit with Paul. By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but I don't think she actually said anything. He just assumed it was her. Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look out for herself. All right. Um, well, I'll hang up now. All right, see you. <sighs> I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. TV, maybe? Why did this turn on by itself? Is it broken? Sink. <sighs> what the hell? That was creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? There's a scrap of paper under here. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, who caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Same nursery rhyme we saw at the start. <laughs> Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is it here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant? So much strange stuff. I should just go to sleep and forget about it. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working out so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Is that a kid I hear? This late at night? And why would a kid live in these beat-up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Sounds like they're crying. Of course there's no kids here. I must be getting tired. That come from my apartment? Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. The coffee's spelling out. You gotta be. This room is really, really strange. With its voices and the TV turning on. What is this? Uh, hi, Paul, it's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, um, I was up all night. I, I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? 
Do you know who used to live in this room? N nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff. But I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of this of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Mm -hmm. What's going on in this building? It's funny, huh? Was, you know, this game started with the quote the mother goose rhyme and one of my friends was talking or one of my roommates was talking the other night about how she hates epigraphs in I think specifically movies and games but also also books or just about anything hello oh it's mr david uh, what seems to be the matter uh, good day miss i just wanted to ask something you see about the room i'm in can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Mm hmm. Well, you know, these apartments uh, always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Uh, said to leave the furniture and use it however. You wouldn't know where he went. I never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember his name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants, if you like. N no, th there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. All righty. Sorry I wasn't more useful. Man about my age. I can only wonder what he was like. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. Withered plants. More cracks in the walls. Footprints. Probably bloody footprints if I know video games. Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Got a brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything here, so I wonder where. The guy's voice, the kid's voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. It's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention that kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd much care if there were ghosts here. Nobody would be too bothered if they haunted and killed me either. But I wonder about the scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. What are we here tonight? What? Uh, where's that coming from? Is that... Is it from inside the house? Phone, maybe? Yeah, it sounds more like an old modem. I mean, this game was released in the, like, mid-2000s, I think, or maybe late. Here's something in the room. Maybe it's 
in the bathroom. from in here. Radio? What's... Why is this in my closet? Not to mention it turning on by itself. Huh? There's something on this paper here. It's... an address? Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? I'm waiting for you. Oh my god, he's shaking. What? I'm waiting for you. What What did... How? And when did it... What? Ah! So, you sleep well last night? Uh, sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Uh, nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. I wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlywed's love nest. <laughs> hey, who are you? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happened, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. Uh, hey, I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. <laughs> hey, you making fun of me? <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, all right? I know you've got your mother to look after, and I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'll just, uh... I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital. And the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. <laughs> so I guess Shirley is the girl we were in love with. <laughs> well, uh, I'll be careful. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to do to go on a little trip. I don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. S sweet. Send a postcard. <laughs> and, uh, but don't, actually. Breakfast ready. Paul. Breakfast ready, Paul. Uh, David, will you be eating too? <laughs> hey, when you have your own personal rain cloud, yeah. <laughs> a funny way of phrasing it. It sounds like something from video games, like more comics where you would have a literal rain cloud over you. I think it was Toe Jam and Earl where sometimes you could trigger a like evil rain cloud that followed that floated over your head and shocked you for a while. <laughs> yeah. Personal rain cloud. <laughs> uh, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Aw, that's too bad. And come by any time you like. Makes me think of the Truman Show. Oh. I haven't seen that in so many years. I don't remember it too well. Classic movie, though. <laughs> there. It looks like the address is in the mountains. About a five-hour drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. 
Hell, I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. Prologue. David's room. End. Okay. Yeah. Good way. Saving. I should probably make a point of saving every so often because I know you can die in this game. Jeez, it's gotten dark. But this is the place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? I guess I'll just have to check. It's unlocked. Register. Stopped clock. Staff only. There's wire around the doorknob. I'm starting to think this hotel may not be exactly in business. Keyholes painted over. Oh. Something on a shelf. Treasure hunt. Me. Dear mom, dad. And boxes in the background. Huh. Treasure hunt. I guess some kids staying here drew this. <laughs> sure, I'll look for your treasure. <laughs> what else am I gonna do? So wait. Yeah. So the box in the upper right corner is a different color. locked huh? passcode Today's program, uh, Schoenberg, three piano pieces. Schoenberg, Schoenberg, I actually don't know how to pronounce that. easy to play. It's like there's just one or two buttons and just scrap from a notebook on the dresser. It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with its big mirror. She would wonder what to wear for dinner, but now it's just me. 
I thought it might help to come here, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule on the page, it matches the one from my room. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. So he got dumped, huh? The note at home did mention that. And our special place, he came here with her. Where could he be? Yeah, this is more like an, it's made with RPG Maker, but it's more like an adventure than a traditional RPG, so more of a streamlined gameplay. I like it. Something just broke. Is it the mirror? The mirror cracked from side to side? Hmm. Huh. It talked about her liking the mirror. That's Paul's license. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, just the same thing. LLM lawyer curses, courses probably belong to the former tenant. door is locked and there's notice on it. Due to employee incompetence and lost keys, the library is temporarily closed. We apologize for the inconvenience. Keys, you say? Never mind. There were a couple of locked doors on the first floor. that it won't let us read the register. No, that would be too easy. wire on the handle. Is it, that door has a passcode. Hmm. 
Yeah. These squares are. We haven't explored the grounds yet. Assuming we can in the dark. Yeah. Oh, wait. Maybe. Where's that candelabra? Maybe we're supposed to light that. That's the library. There. I guess not. Hey, guitar cat. How are you doing today? Wait. Oh, it made nine squares, nine tables. Something's under the table. A gold key. And you found the treasure. Congratulations. This key will unlock one of the doors. But yeah, we're playing, we started a new horror game tonight, Key Dark Hat, and so far it's pretty intriguing, I think. The gold key. Uh, Alright, didn't move Matt much, but other than that, had a pretty good weekend. Oh, that's good, I'm glad to hear that. And sometimes it's good to just relax. <laughs> the owner's collection of books. Please read at your leisure. Another key to 108. S Cry of the Unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decided in the unconscious. Even if you believe you are cold-hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside, and they will sniff it out. Oh, shoot, my cam's frozen again, Kitar? Ah, thanks. Hold on, I'll fix it. Huh? They will be lured by your unconscious kindness, and they will drag you away. Some kind of a cult book? I bet Paul would love this. He's way into that stuff for his... Way too into that stuff for his age. All right. Still nothing. No joy. Is 
it's happened once already this stream. Well, I can switch to my built-in webcam and see if that's at least has any decency to work. Ah, there we are. Oh, sorry guys, I know this isn't quite as good picture quality. And you can't see my snazzy shirt as well. But at least it's working. I usually pick, think, pick something that's working over something that's broken. Anyway. Back to the crooked man. Yeah. What was that? That sound? I'm saving. Okay. The books are all in alphabetical order. We need to find a specific book. Is someone there? 204. But the key we got was to room 108. something. Can I reach it? <laughs> How can I get what's on the dresser? Wire cutters. Which will let us into the staff area. I wonder if that's diegetic. Who, who's there? She looks terrified. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I just came in and, and the piano looked nice, so I, um, sorry I yelled at you. I'm, I'm not on staff of the hotel or anything. Who are you then? I'm David. I'm sort of looking for a guy. What about you? I'm Sissy. Huh. Sissy, then. What brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know. I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. I see. 
Did you find it? No, I'm still looking. It's just this little box decorated with rubies, but I'm not leaving until I find it. Right, well, again, sorry for shouting. I'll probably be here a while longer, so I could help you find it. Really? That would be great. Okay, please help. Just do me a favor, too, though. If you see a man about my age, would you tell me? Okay. Uh, I'll be going then. Uh, David, you be careful, too. Man, what am I doing shouting at girls? I feel like the shady one here. Sissy seemed unduly nervous. Snip, snip. Notebook. October 8th. Door in room 106 bathroom needs fixing. There's a key on this page. 106. Mm. Trash can is full of crumpled paper. Four chapters of the book have mysteriously gone missing. Should you find the pages, please report to the owner. B book. Uh. There's no doorknob. I hear something. Is someone locked in there? I should find a way to open it. A lot of exploring in this game. A doorknob. Oh, yeah, the journal mentioned something about door repairs. Huh. Would this work on that door without a knob? It's the same kind. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, the door won't open. Grotty Brown. else here I should know about? Unlikely. I'm going to go ahead and save. Attach the doorknob. There's nobody here. But we did hear somebody. Book of the Month, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. What's that? This tile seems a little loose. Stomp on it. I don't know what it did though. A phone. Is that a trapdoor? Is there a mechanism in the floor? There's a ladder and it goes down. Where else? Maybe I should check this out. Okay. 
drum that smells like gasoline, and he's here's me walking around with my cigarette lighter. Is that blood? Are, are you okay? Were, were you locked in here? What? What? Are you okay? Whoa. <laughs> These sound effects. <laughs> oh shit. It's the crooked man. St stay back. Don't come near me. He's coming near me. <laughs> Crap. Let go. Let go. What was that? His neck was all crooked. Can't have been human. Am I going nuts here? That thing, it couldn't have been real. I'm, I'm just... I must just be seeing things. I'm just tired is all. I, I feel sick. I wonder, I wonder what Sissy's up to. Did she find what she came for? Really? Put a trash can or something on top of that? I don't want that thing getting out. As a code, yeah. Huh. <laughs> what was that, sissy? came from. Wait. Yeah. Let's see if it had Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Stevenson. What happened? I, I went to the window and the floor gave way. What should I do? Sissy, jump over. It's dangerous over there. No, I can't. I'm slipping. I, I can't possibly jump that far. A gap that big? This is no time for pessimism. It's going to crumble soon. Hurry, I'll catch you. Ah... too close. Are you okay, sissy? Are you hurt? Sissy? So scared. I was so scared. No more. I don't like the dark. I... Why do I... I... It's okay, sissy. I'm sorry, I know you were scared, but it's fine. Don't cry. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm scared and confused. It's all right, I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find what you were looking for? N not yet, it wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it could be. It must be important if you came all by yourself. You could always just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I, I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What exactly is it? 
sorry to ask, but I've just been wondering, was it a present or... It's a present from my boyfriend. It's important, the most important thing to me after my own life. I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it too. You're looking for someone, right? I haven't seen anyone, but can you tell me more about them? Well, I don't know m that much either. Just that he's a man about my age. Huh? You know that little about the person you're looking for? You're a strange guy, David. I, I am not. There's just some things I want to ask. And I don't know how he looks because, um... Strange, but very kind. I would have been hurt badly if you weren't there. I'm really glad, uh, grateful to you for saving me. I should be going. Take care, David. I'll see you. She's the ex-girlfriend of the guy we're looking for. I don't know why that hasn't occurred to David. I mean, it occurred to me. But him. the key we found in our apartment. We've tried it, haven't we, at the bar? Actually, might as well save. this hallway. There. The sissy didn't tell us which room she stayed in. I think at this point we're mainly helping her look for that ruby encrusted box. This is just the treasure hunt again. Hmm. Wait, if it... Oh, right, yeah, no doorknob, so...
know nothing we haven't seen before. Four chapters of the book. The basement doors open. Shit, that creature got out, I'm assuming. It hasn't been that long since I saved, has it? Oops, I'm looking at the wrong camera. of wine and a wooden box. A lamp with a severed cord. There's something sparkling. A bronze key. The number of keys and the number of locked doors don't bother me quite as much in this game as in some games I could mention. Brandy. It's got tons of alcohol in it. I might just catch fire if I drank this. So I'm guessing we'll use it for fuel at some point. It's like everybody just left everything and vanished. A journal seemingly written by a staff member. The last page is rambling and sloppily written. A toast to our owner, who left his employees and fled into the night. We'll drink all the beer we've got. Hell, it's the only good thing here. Being out of a job's no good, but at least we don't have to see his mug no more. We were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence, installing weird stuff for the basement door, having a number of locks on the food storage, and all the silly crap made the place impossible to run. Plus, the passcode was this thing with a book, which he changed every month. What the hell do you do if you forget? Maybe it's good for him, but sure as hell not us. Ah, whatever. Once we're done with the booze, we're out of here. A toast to our bright futures. The door to the food storage is at the far end of the first floor, right? Passcode on food is pretty absurd. It's something to do with a book. Mostly empty wine casks. Disturbing how chill uh, David is, considering that uh, the monster is roaming the hotel, and so is Sissy. Oh, the library is the logical place.
Yes. An Injunction Against Kindness. Yes. We've read that book before. The blackboard in the owner's room said the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It'd be on this shelf, right? Ah, here we go. Chapter 1, The Story of the Door. Mr. Utterson was a lawyer. The lawyer was a man of rugged countenance that was clearly lighted by, that was never lighted by a smile. Cold, scanty, and embarrassed in discourse. Backwards in sentiment, lean, long, dusty, dreary, and yet somehow lovable. Friendly meetings. And then the wine was to be t was to his taste. Something. Oh, at friendly meetings, and when the wine was to his taste, something eminently human beckoned from his eye. Something, indeed, which never found its way into his talk, but which spoke not only into, which spoke not only, which spoke only in these silent symbols of the after-dinner fa face, but more often and loudly in the acts of his life. He was austere with himself, drank gin when he was alone, to mortify a taste for vintages, and though he enjoyed the theatre, had not crossed the doors of one for twenty years. But he had an approved tolerance for others, something sometimes wondering, almost with envy, at the high pressure of spirits involved in their misdeeds, and in, my, and in any extremity inclined to help rather than to reprove. Chapter 2, Search for Mr. Hyde. Let's see. That evening, Mr. Utterson came down to his bachelor house in somber spirits and sat down to dinner. Oh, hey guys, just a second. I'll be right back. Hey there, chaps. Um, uh, that's how late it's getting, and I need to finish up fairly soon, so I'll finish this chapter of the game, which I believe is not too much longer because we're running out of spaces in this hotel. <clears throat> Somewhere in here, there's a clue about the passcode to the door. Mm -hmm. yeah. I always forget how good uh, Stevenson's writing is. I should actually... I still haven't re read the unabridged version of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but I know I'd like it. And I still need to see the Frederick March film version. It's supposed to be really good. Karoo murder case. October 18th. Hmm, 
just skimming this because I'm thinking it's probably a fairly obvious clue, hopefully. the exact date or with name sometimes only give the first letter <laughs> hmm. and indeed the worst of my faults was a certain impatient gaiety of disposition such as has made hap has made the happiness of many but such as I found it hard to reconcile with my imperious desire to carry my head high, and even a more than commonly grave countenance before the public. Hence it came about that I cancelled my pleasures, and that when I re reached years of reflection and began to look around me and take stock of my progress and position in the world, October 18th of 18-something. Just the things that jump out at me. And very recentering there. Let's go see if... Uh, that's enough for us to know the passcode. The oh, crap. <laughs> that monster, did it really? It's coming this way. Crap, I gotta escape. Okay, he's chasing me. that long since we saved, has it? Daddy yeah, puts on bursts of speed. My heart's going. Note to self save often in horror games. I must remember not to be too loud.
observe. here. What is that monster? So what I saw earlier really was, I think that thing actually exists. But still, there's no way it's coming back from that fall. And the room under here is locked tight. I should warn Sissy when I see her. I knew it would be dangerous for her. Is that door still locked too? Yes. first. I think it has to do with the year of Jekyll's birth. The month of October, 18 something or other. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what it is. I just remember it is 8, but it's October of 18th. 18 something.
this out without too much more trouble. Wait, there are chapters missing from the book, right? missing pages, wherever they are. left in there. chapters could be. Nothing else in here either. Mm -hmm. 
there are four chapters missing. What if it's the numbers of the chapters which have been torn out form the code? Three. Six, seven, nine. Is that right? Three, six, seven, nine. I think this could be it. Hopefully so. <laughs> something. It's out of reach. Yeah. Rotten refrigerators. A ladder. You can use this to get that thing. to 209. Is this a photo? There's something under the pieces. A scrap from a notebook. I don't need her memory anymore, because I know she won't come back. I have to erase everything, good and bad, and all the memories inside me, too. My head hurts. Easing up. Sheesh, I'm exhausted. I guess I haven't slept much. So he burnt this photo to mend his broken heart, huh? I know I couldn't do that. I'll never forget, never. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. Sissy. Oh, there you are, David. Did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There's lots of rooms I can't get into, so it might be in one of those. What's wrong? You look kind of pale. It's nothing. But, Sissy, you should really leave soon. Why? You may not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'd definitely be in danger, too, so I think you should go. Look, I don't like dark, scary places either, but there's no need to tease me like that. I'm not some little kid afraid of the boogeyman, okay? Uh, sorry, but I'm not trying to tease you. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonest guy, so I'd like to believe you, but a monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark? You could be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in the dark like this. I'd like to think you're right. All right, if you insist, but be careful, okay? I know. Well, I'll go looking elsewhere. Don't have to 
reassemble those. Um, what? It sounded uncomfortably wet. right as I walked past the bar, so I assume that's where it came from. But nothing in the bar looks different. Good, unless there's something I'm not seeing. But red writing? Was this here before? Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Come to me. I am waiting for you. Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? God, it's the thing. Why? I dropped you down a pit. Okay, I gotta do something. Monster doesn't give up. How about some of this? I guess I won't do much alone. What else can I do? sound effects. <laughs> oh yeah, now that he's covered in alcohol, the alcohol he should be plenty flammable. Still not dead. What the hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? And how did it survive before? I might need something to defend myself. Even a knife could really help. Was there one of those around? And that's just the broken model. storage. It jumped off the counter. Maybe I should take it just for self-defense. That wasn't here earlier. Did, did something happen to Sissy? Didn't seem to lead anywhere. Oh no, wait, there's more. I 
there's more blood. Maybe I'm just seeing patterns on the floor. The door is unlocked. And there's Sissy. Sissy, what are you doing here? Your, your arm's bleeding, so it was your blood. Were you hurt? My arm caught on something. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you've... What if you got anemia? I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief so I can at least try to wrap it up. I guess this is better than nothing. It doesn't hurt? It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. It, I, I'm just, I've just been so silly. Silly? It's silly that I'm wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, all to find some measly box. Measly, but it's important, right? A memento from your boyfriend? <clears throat> well, he's my ex, to be exact. Huh? He left me quite a while ago, but while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. That was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up the courage to come back. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here just brought back all the memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when we broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Sorry, I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a while longer. I'm a little woozy. Thank you for your help, David. Oh, and here, I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Another key. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. Why are you always like this, David? Like, like what? You're always such a yes man, just going with the flow. Do you even have a personality? I don't mean to. I just... I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. You treat anyone else the same way, right? That's why I can't trust you. Look, please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm a pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. Th then what should I do? You just don't trust me, is that it? Maybe it's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way, but I think we would both be worse off staying together any longer. Thank you for everything, David. Goodbye. Wait, we can talk this out. Surely. So that's Shirley. Our ex. Mm -hmm. Kindness is all you have. Mm -hmm. Sissy and I are the same like that. Timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she did love me, she didn't love me. I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt the same way too.
Be careful, it's dark. I'll look for your treasure, too. You sure are nice, David. You might be growing on me. <laughs> I don't know if such a wonderful girl would uh, suit a loser like me. Sorry. And in case you guys are wondering, I'm trying to be quiet so I don't wake my like keep my roommates awake because it's getting late, and I do need to end soon. I really thought I keep thinking this chapter is almost over. <laughs> Use the unknown key. We're in a courtyard. A box. Maybe this is the one Sissy lost. It must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it away here or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. I'll get this to Sissy pronto. How does he not put together the similarities between... Or that he, uh, she may be the person who's... Or the person he's looking for may be her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Huh, did Sissy leave already? But she's wounded. Sissy? Sissy! Get out of the hotel. David, what are you? I said run away. I'll take care of this. Hey, monster. I don't know what the hell you are, but don't you lay a finger on Sissy. chase us anymore. But never mind me. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm not hurt. But... Sissy, what's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did that horrible monster attack me? I, I don't... I just didn't want to forget him. I just wanted to have my memory of him, at least. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can't I... Can I... Can I not even love him? No. I hate it. Somebody... Somebody help. Sissy... wrong with being a wimp? Huh? You may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him, but is that such a bad thing? 
David? You know, I was dumped a few months ago, too. I was sure we were going to get married. You, too? I was dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married. And it made my, me hate myself more and more. When I'm looking at you, I've come to think maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of someone. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I decided I wouldn't give up either. And it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. David. This is your treasure, right? It's a pretty fancy box. It'd be a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you love will understand. And I know I'll always support you. Thank you, David. I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Hey, David. Did the box come with a key? A key? I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs a key to open, so... Though I didn't lock it. A key. Wait, hold on. Maybe this brass key. <laughs> nah, of course not. The one we found in our apartment. Hmm. Yes, that's the one. Where did you find it? What, really? I picked it up around here. And the bloody footprints led it to us in our apartment. A key from my house opened Sissy's box. So the former tenants involved with the box? What does that mean? I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches with the notebook pages, which means he... I don't get it, but I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here. Seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going there, David? Yeah. He wasn't here, so I'll check there next. Okay. Be careful. I'll escort you home, sissy. It's dark, after all. I'll be all right. Thanks, though, David. Well. I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. That, that surprised me. <laughs> but she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering scent of dreams. And is this an address? Maybe that's where he is now. I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I find him, I'll go anywhere. Scene 1. Hotel Ruhenheim, Sissy. End. And with that, I think it's probably a good time to end the stream as well. Oh, right. Yes, heavens knows what heaven knows what's up with the other camera. <laughs> Another thing I'll have to try and fix. Well.
Thank you all for coming to my stream. I hope you enjoy, are enjoying the Crooked Man so far. I certainly am. And we'll continue it next. I may be busy next weekend. I'm not sure, but we'll definitely continue that. And on Wednesday, I think we'll start another uh, new game that I seem to be doing. I'm playing one Sundays and one on Wednesdays and then short ones on Saturdays. I haven't decided what yet, but um, we'll figure it out. Um, and hopefully we'll also figure out what was wrong with my camera tonight. Um, thank you again to everybody who came by and said hello. I, it means a lot to me that, you know, you check out my streams and chat and stuff. And just enjoy the games, even the lurkers. Um, you know, if uh, you guys could stick around for a short while, just and we'll find somebody to raid, that would be great. Fornado's streaming. He's a. He, I haven't seen his stream before, but uh, he mods for a couple of the streams I frequent, and uh, I just found out recently that he streams and uh, followed him, so he's streaming. Death Stranding, which he refers to as post apocalyptic Postman Pat. <laughs> I remember the Postman Pat series of uh, British children's books, so I very much appreciate the title. Let's go over and say hi to him. Uh... <clears> hmm. <throat> Thank you again, everybody. Um, I'll see you guys on Wednesday, and then eventually we'll continue The Crooked Man, and I'll try and start streaming at slightly earlier hours so I don't have to worry about being quiet or going too late. But, um, thanks for coming by and sticking around for the raid, and I hope to see you next time. And we'll all meet together on another crooked stream. I don't know, I'm using headphones right now, but it doesn't really matter. Hey, hey, welcome in, pure blind.